Hey guys, I thought I would do something a little bit different today. I've never done this before, but I thought, seeing as I have a brand, Vixen, I should do something, a video for that, for influencers. So I just thought I would do this video on how I choose influencers to collaborate with, and it might help people to know what to do when approaching brands if you're an influencer or want to be an influencer on and you want to collaborate with certain brands what you could be doing to help get that collaboration basically because i have so many people message me dm me for collaborations and obviously i'm such a small business i cannot collaborate with all of these people and even big businesses they're not going to collaborate with everyone so i just want to show you Tell, I just thought I'd tell you the sort of things that I look out for um, and then it might help you in your journey. So let me just say to begin with, it really annoys me when people will DM me and just say collab question mark. Like I think that's really rude and impersonal. If you really care about the brand and want to work with them, you wouldn't just message them saying collab. It's kind of like people who think they're just entitled, like they think they're just entitled to get free stuff from brands and I just don't think that's right. If I, as an influencer, was gonna message a brand, I would put more effort in and, you know, I would message that brand and say, I really like your stuff and, you know, just show a bit of effort, show that you're actually interested in them. I really appreciate when people message me and they'll say, oh, hello, um, I really love your brand, I love this that you do, like to just show that they have actually taken notice of my brand and they know what it's about and what it is that I'm trying to do with Vixen rather than just being like collab. Also people will put in like how they think they can help, like it, the audience that they have and um, the reach they have and things like that, which is good because it's good to see statistics and they're really making an effort to try and work with you, which I think is really nice. Another thing is it may normally be more professional to do emails, but I actually do prefer when people just DM me on Instagram because that way I can just see their Instagram straight away. If they email me, then I have to sort of go back and forth and yeah, I just prefer to do it for Instagram. But other companies I know do actually ask you to email them and they do prefer emails. Um, so that is just a personal preference. It's obviously a big thing now that followers, it's not about the amount of followers. And this is very widely known now that it doesn't matter how many followers you have, what matters is your engagement and your reach with your audience. You could have 30,000 followers, but you don't really have people commenting on your pictures and not many people engaging. I've had loads of people who would DM me and say, oh, collab, I have this many followers. But then you go on their page and they have hardly any likes and hardly ever any comments. And to me, that just seems a little bit dodgy. And that's when I start to think, oh, they've probably bought followers and it's probably fake. Because if they're not having that much engagement, then them putting a picture up in your stuff, you're not really going to get anything out of it because their audience like has no engagement in their posts. So I actually work with loads of people who just have a couple thousand followers because their engagement is really high and their audience really cares about them and they'll get loads of comments and they'll get likes and stuff and you can see that their audience actually listens to them and actually, you know, they're not just a number, they actually are engaged in this person. So the really, the main important thing, the most important thing is your engagement. You just have to try and work on that as much as you can, try and get your followers engaged, try and get that those comments because that is what really speaks to a brand, that is what a brand wants when they're working with someone. Thirdly, for me, what I really like to look out for is picture quality. Sometimes I'll work with people and it's not even anything to do with their engagement or anything, but it's just that they do take really nice photos and I feel like, you know, that's that'll look really nice to have that sort of picture quality on Vixen Instagram page. Sometimes it is literally just, I really like how they take photos and I really like their camera quality. So that's another thing as well. If your pictures aren't very clear and aren't the greatest quality, then it's gonna be difficult for brands to work with you because they're not gonna really be able to use those images themselves because it's just, the quality's just not good enough. So I would really invest in getting a good camera or even iPhones, like any phone camera these days, it normally does have really good quality um, or just, it normally does have decent quality that you can use, but a main thing is lighting. So lighting is such a big deal. If your house where you take pictures just has rubbish lighting and the windows are, you know, you're just not getting the lighting, then invest in just getting a softbox light like I have up there or a ring light, which I'm using now. 
And they're really cheap. This I got as a pair of two for like £20. And the ring light I'm using as well was £20. So you literally just buy that. As you can see, I have the softbox light over my mirror. So whenever I take photos in that mirror, I have that light on and that's what gets me the good quality. I'll put up a picture now actually of when I first moved in using that without the softbox light, how bad the lighting was. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to be able to take photos in this room. And it's such a pretty room. So I was like, the lighting's just rubbish. Even... Obviously, you're supposed to have it by a mirror, but the way this room is, um, by a window, sorry, the way this room is set out, I wouldn't have been able to have the mirror by the windows, like I had to have it there, so I needed the softbox light. And the ring light as well is amazing for doing selfies and things like that because it's, you know, it just adds the light. So invest in one of them because they're cheap and your pitch quality is going to be so much better and it's going to make your Instagram look so much better as well. As a small brand, and I know obviously people aren't going to do this because you're not just going to buy something. Obviously, you want to get given the free stuff, you want to collaborate. Whereas, I do really appreciate, as a small brand, people who put a bit of money into me. So, if someone has bought from Vixen before, and they've supported me, I will then collaborate with them. Because they have shown that they like myself, and they have shown me support, and that really means so much to me. As a small business... Those people who buy from you at the beginning, it really means the world. And as I grow, I really want to be able to give back to those loyal followers and give back to those people who bought from me in the very early days. I'm just not at that point yet, but I would love to be able to do something for them and give back. And 100% I'm going to do that. When Vixen grows a bit more, like every year at the end of the year, I'm going to do you know, the person who's bought the most in the whole year, I'm going to be giving them gift vouchers, everything, because I just think that's so important to support the people who are loyal to you. Um, I'm just not big enough. I did a collab with Do You Even, a YouTube thing, and they sent me this box, and it was beautiful, and all of their stuff, and the hand tags, and, you know, they're a proper high-quality brand, and I was like, oh my gosh, like, it's so beautiful the way they do everything. But they've been going since 2012, and I'm just not big enough yet. When I get to that point, I want to be able to have a proper ambassador program and be able to offer the ambassadors a really good deal you know I want to be able to offer them clothes every month and and aff affiliate links and everything and I want to be someone that people will want to work with and yeah I just want to give back I want to be able to provide for those ambassadors but again I'm just too small at the moment I can't do anything like that so at the moment it's kind of just like when I get new stuff, I'll send it out to you, and I just do what I can at the moment. But yeah, hopefully one day I'll be able to give like those big brands do. What else do I look for? People who are obviously consistent, you post a lot, you provide value to your followers, you're consistent with your stories, like things like this, it all just adds up to make such a difference. If you're consistent on your Instagram and you really put a lot of effort in, then brands are gonna to wanna to work with you because they believe that you're a good investment. I wanna work with people who are passionate, who are really passionate about fitness, who who love it, you know, who it, it really, you can really see in your posts and in your stories that you're really passionate about it and that comes across because those are the kind of people you wanna work with. I also get people asking to collab who are not fitness at all. And for me, as a small business, I'm going to go for the people who are fitness, of course, because that's more my target audience. So a bigger brand, for instance, may collaborate with other people of all different audiences. But if I can only give out a certain amount of clothes a month, I'm going to go for the people who are my main target audience. So it's going to be fitness. So if you message me and ask to collab and your page is literally just pictures of your face or just completely different from what my target audience is then I'm I'm not going to work with you no no offense it's just it's not my target audience so try and reach brands who are similar to your target audience and you know that you're going to be able to provide value for them rather than just messaging everyone trying to get free products again that's going to look weird on your page if you're literally just advertising everything you know you you need to be selective you don't want just want to be one of those people who every time they're given free stuff it's like yeah like and then your page is just full of the most random stuff so yeah just try and stick to sort of your target market when you're doing things like that another thing guys if you do message a brand and ask to collaborate with them and they send you stuff then please follow through and post that stuff because i've had situations in the past where someone will message me and ask to collaborate 
with Vixen, I'll send them something and then they never put a post up and it's really upsetting, especially when you're a small business. Like that one set, you know, that's a lot. Like you don't have thousands and thousands of stock. So if you send someone something and they don't post it, that really, you know, it's upsetting and it hits you because you really need that support to grow when you're small. So please appreciate that and just respect the brand as well. Try and think about them when you're doing this and try not to just be sort of selfish and just try and get free stuff of everyone and then you don't even post about it because it's not fair, it's not nice and then they won't want to work with you again and if they might, they might grow and then bring out loads of good stuff and then you really want to work with them and they don't want to work for you anymore. So just really think about that when you're doing stuff. Just try and respect the brand um, as well as yourself. If you're just going into this trying to get free stuff for people, it's not really going to work out. You really need to know yourself, know your target audience, know what you're trying to do, what you're trying to do with your Instagram, what you want to achieve and work with brands that align with that and that will help you grow and you can help them grow you know it's very much a partnership um so yeah just be respectful of the brands of yourself of your goal of your aim of your mission statement i don't even know what the word is yeah anyway this was just a quick video i just wanted to come on here and just do a brief little what i look for in influencers just to yeah give a bit more insight into it from a brand's perspective um, if you guys do have any other questions or want me to expand on anything, please put them in the comment section below or DM me on my Instagram, uh, which is at Ruby Ilden. It will be at the end and it will be in the description section below as well. Really, really appreciate it, guys. Thank you for joining me on this video. I hope to see you on the next one. And yeah, let me know if you want me to expand on anything and I can do another video a bit longer or whatever. But yeah, thank you so much. Please subscribe to me if you haven't already and please give this a thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you so much. Bye.